page 13, procession. 4-4 four, four time, no sharps or flats. We're in C major or A minor. If you look at the end, the last measure, I'm guessing it's C major. Right hand first. Let's make sure we got the notes. You can go ahead and try and do the rhythm at the same time as long as the notes aren't too hard. But here's here. One and two in. One and two in. bad. And then you go to the second line, just move down one. You're just coming down. It's the end of a slur. Here, actually, it's the end of a phrase. You just move down. Just a nice light lift and you're here. Now, going into the second measure, you got to come up here. Your hand is, the thumb's where it is, and that, that rest of the hand just comes up here. And then the thumb comes up. We just moved our hand is all we did. That's fine. Left hand here. So hopefully these notes are not a problem. The le your left hand's not moving around at all. You got some half notes in the second line. Okay, whoop to do. Put the hands together here. So you're not in the same position. You have to watch out. But you got different fingers in each hand going now. Yeah. Go slow if you have to. I go a little fast. You can do that okay and get rid of the hesitations and also the beat flows add the articulation go ahead and play it legato except where the staccatos are it's in both hands now here because they put that slur in there i'm going to lift up before the slur and after the slur so i'm going to separate the slur from everything else so it's here's these are staccatos nice light wrist here is I'm only raising up the right hand not the left. The left hand is legato all the way through so it's like going from the first measure to the second measure when I hear I lift up the right hand but not the left. So here. So each time I do this I'm keeping that left hand legato and this is an important skill we need to learn in piano playing. You need to be able to do it with either hand but let's take this one step at a time. Get it where you can do this in the left hand. Keep that left hand legato while you're doing other things in the right hand. In the second line, you're here. Now they give you slurs in the left hand, so go ahead and lift up the left hand between the measure. Like that in the left hand too, so it's... So the both hands are up there. a little bit to it. Once you can get that, add the dynamics. No a lot going on in dynamics. It's loud at the beginning and that's the right hand. Keep the left hand down to about a moderately soft. In the second line, it come down to a moderately soft in the right hand. The left hand has to go down to very soft. You see the crescendo, C-R-E-S-C, -E crescendo. Gradually get louder to the third measure you're loud. Careful, don't get loud to the third measure. So plan it out. So you're moderately soft. Now go up to moderately loud. Now you're loud. So I'm doing it like one measure at a time. I'm gradually getting louder because you can't do it one note at a time and do that. You'll, you'll be loud before you have finished the first measure there. So spend this out. Depends on how much time you have to do your crescendo or decrescendo. If it's like short, not very many, you can do it one note at a time. But when it spans out over measures, then you have to maybe one measure at a time or one phrase at a time or something. Just spend it out. Here, it's one measure at a time. I'm going to do the first measure moderately soft and the next measure moderately loud. I'll go up a little bit. And then I can be loud on the third measure. Now, it's all repeated. You'll notice on this one, they did not put a reverse repeat sign at the beginning. That's that spew I went through before. 
you don't need it because the repeat sign is going to send you back to the beginning anyway. And then the second line is surrounded by repeat signs, so you can play the second line twice too. As far as the speed goes, Allegro is on the fast side and Marato is in the middle, so you kind of marry them together, combine them, and you get this a moderate fast, or a fast moderate, depending on which way you're going. I don't know. So that's, you have to decide what that is. It's almost like an allegretto. It's just. It's a procession. You're walking down proud and here we are. One little thing I'd like to add here, just push you a little bit, on the second measure of each line in the right hand. You have those last three G's, the last three notes in the measure, in each of those lines. I'm, in, I'm going to challenge you on those G's rather than using thumb on all three of them. I would challenge you to use one, two, one on those. There's staccato, you can do that. This leads into something else later on, and if you kind of get an idea of this now, you, it's challenging you now, but it's going to make life a lot easier for you later on if you can get this now. A lot of times on repeated notes we will use multiple fingers rather than the same finger every time, and this kind of gets you started on that. So I would, if you would, on both of those. I'd like to play this with you slowly just to check the notes and the rhythm. It's not going to do dynamics, but I will do the repeats. So I'll give us four counts. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, and go, and. Pete. 